I'm here with Shea Gilgis Alexander of the Oklahoma City Thunder. Shea, how's it going, man? Good, how are you? I'm good. So I want to walk you through a couple of different scenarios, and I just want to know kind of what was going through your head during either one of these. You can pick which one. Okay. Um, the moment that you qualified for the Olympics, okay. or the moment where Mikael Bridges gets his own rebound, relocates to the corner, and hits the three to tie the game to send the game to overtime. Yeah. Give me give me some thoughts on either one of those. Um, we can go with Mikael Bridges. Okay. Um, like when it first when it first went in, I was like, no, like no way, this is not real. Yeah. Like <laughs> that didn't just happen. And then I was thinking, like, could I have done anything for it to not happen? Yeah. Um, and then like a couple like once like. Everything settled down. Um, I was like, okay, well, it's a five-minute basketball game, and we got to win the f these five minutes, and we'll get a medal. If not, we don't get a medal. Yeah. Um, so that's all I was focused on, just just trying to win these next five minutes. And then I think you scored, was it seven consecutive points yeah. in the overtime? What, what was going through your head during that? Um, uh, like like I, I, I just really I, – I wanted to – to focus on winning the the next five minutes, yeah, and it's it's natural. Like most times, a team that loses momentum going into overtime loses. Yeah, um, and I wanted to come out strong to try to gain momentum back, um, and I and I, I think it worked. We uh, we came out in overtime strong, and we and we ended up with a W. So you were first team All NBA this past year. What is what does that accolade mean to you? Um, it's. It's uh, it's 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 something that I, I get to check off my list. Yeah. Um. But um, like, it it doesn't. It's an honor, um, to be amongst that group of guys. Um, but it doesn't like. It doesn't, like, hold as much weight with me as you would think. Yeah. Um, there's so much more I want to accomplish, and. There's so much goals above this that I that I that I want to accomplish, and it's nice that I get to check this one off. But yeah. there's, I'm not even close to where I want to be. Um, so it's a good feeling, but um, I'm so hungry for so much more. What else do you want to accomplish? Like, what's on your list? Yeah, um, really and, and truly, for me, it just comes down to like I want to be an NBA champion. Yeah. Um, and so many like so many great players throughout the years don't get to say they've done that. Yeah. Um, some of the greatest ever don't get to say they've done that. Um, those are guys that have put the work in, have done the right things, have been the top of the top for so long and are amongst that group of guys and just don't get to accomplish that. Um, and there's so much more that goes into it than just the individual and so much things that that um, you have to like do right and, and get a little bit lucky yeah. um, to figure it out. Um, and that's something that if I can, if I can figure that out, then I'll, I'll really be satisfied. So with this, with this group, do you see yourself being able to accomplish that goal? Um, not necessarily yeah, this year, yeah, but yeah, I'm talking like yeah. in the next like seven years or however long. Yeah. Um, I do, I do see myself accomplishing that. Um, I think, like for me, growing like growing up, it's always been about like visualizing and and like believing before you achieve. Um, that's something that like was taught to me at a very young age. Like, yeah. no matter what you want, like you have to believe it yourself, or yeah. else you're never gonna get it. Yeah. Um, and I and I, I wholeheartedly do believe that. Um, now, when it will be, and, wh and whether it actually happens, yeah. is <laughs> is out of my control. But I'm gonna sure. do everything I can in my power to to try to get there. Have you ever tried to help Mark Degnall with the way he dresses? Um, no, no, because I I think it would take away from who he is. You know, so yeah. I just I just like to. He, uh, his look is perfect for him. Obviously, you wouldn't dress him like you. Yeah, 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 but. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, no, he can never do that. Yeah. No, okay. very few can. Okay. No, I respect that. I respect that. Uh, we're going to do a few quick superlatives for the team. Who do you think is the best dress? On the team? Yeah. Um, and everybody says you. Oh, yeah. I was going to say outside of me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I would say... Um, I don't know. It's between like Jay Lynn, like J Dub, yeah. Lou, maybe Josh. Okay. Between those guys. Who's the funniest teammate? The funniest teammate? It might be 
Aaron Wiggins. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I've heard that one a couple he, times. He has like a. It's not like a loud humor. Yeah. It's like a sly comment humor. Yeah. He's funny. Uh, okay, last one. Who is the best listener? The best listener. Hmm. Trey Mann. Trey Mann. Yeah. Okay. 